Some people are already blown away by a spherical photo in a Google Cardboard. Others need a more interactive experience of higher quality. But almost everyone seems to have one experience where they get truly amazed. During this symposium we are exploring uh, what the possibilities could be of virtual reality to, uh, to use it in science and education. VR is a very exciting new development. There are, uh, it's used for gaming and, 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 and cinema. But how can we use it for, for these fields? We develop solutions for the mental health care and also solutions for several uh, training purposes. Is this virtual reality environment the same as the real world? Or is there really something different? Is there a way our brain reacts with it differently uh, that we have to account for? I've been living in virtual reality since the time of uh, Second Life. This is me in the virtual world of Second Life. Our project is a two-player game in which two players coordinate in order to send dinosaurs who exist in an alien planet back to the proper time period. We were interested in the ways other animals see the world and we know our own vision, uh, but we wanted to try out how would it be if I had another pair of eyes, how my visual system would be the same, for example, as a bee or a chameleon. Uh, I think the entire day was, was great. Many different viewpoints, many different presentations. Uh, so, yeah, many inspiring uh, things to uh, think about. I've had some talks before, so but it was quite interesting. I heard some new things, some interesting things, and I think I can use them for my own work. I think the future of virtual reality will mostly uh, be on two levels. Uh, uh, the more serious side, uh, healthcare and education, and the more uh, yeah, fun side of entertainment. And then hopefully, yeah, we'll see where it, where it goes from there. The most important thing for us now, the people who are working in the field now, is to uh, try experiment as much as possible and not try to define directions in either research or cinema or games because I think by keeping trying out everything we will find what, what would be the best way in the end to develop uh, projects for virtual reality. If teachers, policy makers, schools and universities choose to invest in virtual reality we can play a part in shaping VR as a medium. In this way we can contribute to making VR more than merely a new platform for consuming entertainment, but rather as a powerful tool for education.